Hello beautiful people, welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I talk about cake business. I teach you tips and strategies on how to grow your cake business and I do a host of other things. I am an international award winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, the United Kingdom and you're welcome. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time, you are most welcome. Please feel free, feel at home, you are welcome to this family. And don't make it your last, please click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And if you've always been here, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being a part of this beautiful, growing, blossoming, blooming family. Today, I have a question to ask you and to ask myself because I know that this is a question that is on most people's minds. Is cake business profitable? Is running a cake business profitable? I know you're asking, I know you're wondering. This thing I'm even doing that I want to put my whole mind, my whole time into, is it profitable? Let's find out in this video. Do not go anywhere, I'll be right back. And you're welcome back. So, is cake business profitable? Yes or no? <laughs> I'm not going to answer you, but I'm going to share some things that I feel that you need to know if you're looking for or aiming to build a cake business that will bring you cold cash. <laughs> Number one is this. You should have a target, have a financial target, have a revenue and a profit or profitability target. If you're doing, you're just selling um, your cakes or you're doing promos or you're doing classes don't just leave things to chance. I remember hearing from a certain um, baker in Nigeria how she used to set targets then for her business. I know people do it, but I was amazed to hear her share her take on this because she's a person that does um, deals, like she can just stay and do deals and she's a spontaneous baker like me. She mentioned it and I know that. So she can just stay and say, oh, we've not reached our target, we've not um, plucked or reached our target for this month. This is what I want to do now. I need to hit my target for the month. Okay, so this baker has a target that she works with and I know that other bakers also do this as well. But for us young bakers, or for us newbie bakers that are growing, I feel that I should let you know this. Okay, it is something that you can do. So back to my story. She will just bring out deals and put a time frame to it and put, um, you know, slash down the price a bit, make it juicy, and then she'll tell her, her she'll, she'll inform um, her audience, first of all, get her staff ready, get her products ready, and then she will bring out these deals. These deals are juicy. And because of that time, because of the time frame she put to it, because of the time limit she put to it, you'll see people buying and buying and buying, and that way she would meet her target for the month. I never knew until she mentioned it during a live class on Instagram. So that is not something that she was just doing for fun. She was not just doing it because she wanted to do deals she was doing it because she had a target to hit and a target to meet okay so this is what you should be looking at of course you know that revenue is not your, the same as your profit right you should know that by now so look at the two if you increase revenue um and definitely your profit would increase right but you need to know your Number two, right? You need to know your books. Like if you want to run a profitable cake business, then you need to know your books. You cannot just be leaving things to chance. You cannot just be selling cakes. Even if you're still growing, you cannot just be selling one and not taking notes. You're not taking notes of how much you're making in a week or in a month, how much you're spending, spending in a week or in a month. You need to know your books and you can do it. You can do it by yourself. And if you cannot do it by yourself, I would say you should outsource it. Now, if you're at that point where you're still growing and you cannot outsource it, you cannot afford to pay somebody else, then you want to do it by yourself so that you have an idea of your books. It is important for you to know how much you're making, how much you're spending. This would help you when it comes to, you know, setting targets and making financial projections for your cake business. Don't worry, these things are big words, but you can do it and that's the way you can build a profitable cake business. Number three is this, cut down your costs cut down your cost. I've made a video before on how you can save costs in your business. I have it somewhere in my library. You can check it. I was just thinking the other day that I have a lot of resources, tons and tons of resources that I have made for you people, that I've made for you, my lovely audience, my subscribers, my mentees, my virtual mentees, for you to binge watch, for you to just take and then consume this content. They will definitely help you grow. So like I said, I've made a video on how to save money in your cake business. You definitely want to check that video out because to show you where you are spending 
you don't know that you're spending or overspending or spending more than you should or spending more than you're able to and then it's affecting your business finances all right so please do well to check that video out but in the meantime look for how to cut your cost it might be reducing the number of staff you have for those of you that have staff already reducing the number of staff you have investing in the right tools that you need for your business like it's not everything you should buy i know that sometimes we like in nigeria we used to have exhibitions of course they won't have exhibitions here i think they had some few days back here at birmingham but i wasn't able to attend so they have exhibitions i believe in different countries you have exhibitions for cake business owners or for bakers where you go to buy things don't get carried away when you go there buying things that you don't need at a point in my life in my cake business life i got to a point where i was like if i'm going for exhibition i'm only going to buy cake boards i'm only going to buy cocoa powder i'm only going to buy this like i'm only going to buy this 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 because you find out that you end up going there and you're just buying silicone molds you're buying um, tools that you don't necessarily need so this is one way that you're overspending your business or spending and increasing your costs there are ways you can improvise with the tools that you have so please improvise with the tools that you have and look for ways to cut down costs look for how to um, reduce your utility bills the water you're using your lights um there's so many things i can talk about all right just look for where you can cut down this cost and make efficient use of the resources that you have at your disposal if you do this you'll find out that you're able to save some cash in your business and make some profit number four just in case you're seeing things in the background like children's poses they're my children's poses okay so number four is this to work with numbers okay to work with numbers and when i mean work with numbers i mean play with numbers it could be in the volume of your cakes your cakes that you're producing or in your price thing i'm going to come to that in a little bit just hang on okay but it's you need to work with the numbers and how can you do this it's by working on your marketing getting your cake in front of more people getting more customers to buy from you probably partnering with supermarkets that you can you know supply cupcakes to and um, this is not something i used to do so i really cannot um share about how you can go about this but i know that people do it bakers do it they bake and then they give to stores or supermarkets or malls to stock their goods when i was in nigeria i know that i used to see um a particular like two or three brands of cakes or or a product from cake business owners from bakers in a particular store that i used to visit they, I, used to see, I used to see them stock parfaits then, yeah, so they'll stock parfaits and then people will come to buy. So that's one thing that I know you can do, get your cake and products in front of more people. And it might not necessarily be like I said, um, doing like reaching the customers directly while you're working on doing that. You partner with other people. Oh, can I just put my 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 cakes here? Would it be a stockist for me? I think that's the word. Yes, that's the word. Can you stock my products? This is the agreement we're going to come to. This is how much I'm going to pay you for it. So can you buy for me? So whatever arrangement works for you, get your products in front of more people. The thing is, if they taste that little and your cake is good, best believe me, they would come searching for you and they will actually want to buy cakes from you. Okay, so look for how to get your cakes in front of more people it could be by doing mini products and increasing your offerings i've talked about this in one of my live sessions that i did i'm going to link the video somewhere so that you can see but increase your offerings now in nigeria i don't know about here so much but i know back home my nigerian bakers sugar sisters back home are doing ready to go cakes so people are doing ready to go cakes even those people that have luxury brands that have high-end cake brands they are doing high-end cakes in the low end um with low end prices okay high-end cakes with low end prices so to say and i've talked about this before in my video okay where you can just slash your cake into two like you instead of making it um an eight inch tall cake or a ten inch tall cake you're looking at making a four inch cake a a probably a four and a half inch cake that will just be half of the price so you're still selling your price at what you want looking at the way things are now and the price of goods and inflation recession and everything and you're still making your profits okay it's not a force it's not like you're forcing the people you must buy this type of cake for me this is the kind of cakes i want and everything you need to be flexible okay that's what you need to do in this time look for ways on how to get your product to more people work on the numbers okay and i hope that you're gaining value from this video if you are kindly like this video if you've not liked this video it's an offense <laughs> like this video i'm just kidding okay but if you've not liked this video please do also like this video okay to help the visibility of this video and don't forget to subscribe okay and now let's go to the 
fifth point i believe yes the fifth point i believe yeah for me this is the highlight of this video okay i saved you the best for last it is to increase your profit margin whoa my energy is high this morning i don't know what's happening <laughs> but it is to increase your profit margin okay so this was something i learned a long time ago so that if you're baking you know that you're making good money from that particular you know cake you're making people have um different markups they use some people call it markup some people call it, i don't know what i called it just now <laughs> but people call it markup people call it profit margins i think it was profit margins i said whatever markup profit margin when you have done your cake costing then your markup is one way that you can increase profit or make profits from your cakes don't play small when it comes to this i will not put a particular amount and say this is what you should be using as markup for your business but for me i know that this was something that i used that i leveraged one to make sure that i was selling cakes for you know i was i was, I was like i was running a profitable cake business <laughs> let me not say running cake or selling cake for profit yeah there's nothing wrong with that okay so for me i know that this was one thing that i was doing back home i had a good markup like i said i would not say anything here okay <laughs> but if you want um to make profits in your business please don't play small don't be doing all those 50 percent mark or 70 percent mark or okay go look for a good and safe margin that you can work with and add this to your cake so with all these things that i've said with all these points that i've made i just wanted to keep this video light short simple sweet straight clear concise and everything what is your answer now what is your take do you think running a cake business is profitable i think i missed that one point of also when it comes to you know um cake business another way i think i should add this as a bonus point is you know introducing different um cake related offerings cake business related offerings like um cake coaching cake classes writing books one-on-one -on -one classes you can teach having ebooks like um you know being a guest speaker there are different things you can do so basically increasing your offerings looking for ways other ways to get money into your cake business now again i'm going to ask that question with all these things that i've shared and with all these things that i've said do you think <laughs> having a cake business or running a cake business is profitable what is your answer let me know in the comments thank you so so much for watching this video if you watch up to this point you are the real mvp do make sure that you like this video please hit on the like button and then click on the subscribe button as well so that you'll be notified when and turn on notifications so that you will be notified when i upload a new video all right thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for the birthday wishes i am so so thankful and i'm so so grateful until i see you in my next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed